Hello everybody, I'm Ali and in this tutorial I'll go through the populate tool in 3ds Max. So this tool, to put it simply, populates the designated area and space. So wherever you want to have people, that's where you can use this tool to populate the area with people that are in motion or sitting or idle or you know many options that you can implement so without dwelling on it too much I'll get right into what we need to do so firstly um, you've got to locate the populate tool so you've got to bring down this ribbon get the strip for the populate you know tool components so you got a flow you can create a flow of people you know, if you want to, you can adjust the width of that flow. Um, you can create idle people, so either sitting on a seat, or you can create the space that they will stay in, and they won't get out of that space. You can have that space in a, as a rectangle or a circle. It's really up to you. You can adjust the brush size from here. You can simulate from here, so when you've added a idle character or a flow of characters, you can simulate it to get them in action. It can change the display of the people you import, you yeah import into the viewport. Um, and you can do a lot of other things after you put them in. You can edit them in many other ways. So yeah. So yeah, what we're gonna do for in this tutorial is that, as you can see, we've got I've got it lucky and already set open setting that I had from previous tutorials. Um, so we're gonna um, have these walk, walkways, pathways, and use the flow for them. Implement the flow population. And in areas near the buildings, we'll have the idle um, areas, so we'll populate it with idle people. So yeah, that's how we're going to go about this. So I'll just start off with um, showing you how the generic, how the single idle area function works. So click on this little woman here, place her here. So this place is a seat, this line is the direction of where the person will be facing. So head over to a modify panel and choose whether the person is a male or female and you can adjust the seat accordingly. So keep it male and then what you do now is you click on simulate to get that person to be simulated as you can see. Pretty cool. And you s get the timeline moving, and as you can see, person is sitting there, looking around, fidgeting. So yeah, it's pretty good. That's what this function does. Keep that man there. And the way to delete, actually, we'll delete him. And to delete, you simply press delete. Oops delete the seats and that's how we do this function so I'll show you how to do the um, idle area so have to we'll use the freeform idle area function so this creates the area of which we have people standing in either individually or as groups and you can adjust the density from here of how many people you want to have um, you can have them you can have more single people idle people or you can have them more in groups you can have groups of threes or twos whichever you want more and adjust them according to gender um, you can change the orientation so 
this um, randomizes the more you go, the more you adjust the meta, um, the spread of it, and positions, randomizing it, which in whichever way you like, only for single people, and you got orientation, where they're facing, gender, and motion. So that's how we do that. Let's try how that looks like when we simulate it. Three smacks does take a bit of time to simulate it, but voila, as you can see, people are just standing around in groups, single loners, and yeah, with the timeline, see, you can just, they're just chatting, standing around, waiting for someone to come in, from someone on the phone, as you can see here, so yeah, that's how we do this, pretty cool, simple, I'll just have, whoops, I'll just have, um, this area, like that, just for now, and we'll move on to how to do the pathways of people moving up and down. And yeah, to get to pathways, we use the flow. So we click, I can hold on shift if you like, and zoom in. Don't worry about the um, width. Yeah, we can adjust that after we've got our path. Do it here. Crossing here. Another one here. So you can just get all these pathways using the flow function. Don't worry about the spacing too much as of yet. Sorry, the width. And yep. And when you're done, simply click on right click. And that's your path. Your foot path. So what we do now is we adjust the width of it. You know, bring it down to 3 meters. Yeah, 3 meters is good. You can adjust the lanes. So we'll do. Uh, that's that's good enough actually. Yeah, we'll do two lanes. Yeah, one meter. Lane spacing is good. Um, direction, can adjust that. Keep it to hug foot. Positions. Positions of people, very important. Yep, as you can see, positions change as you increase it, keep it 100, gender, 1 to 10, have some diversity, and yep, come into the density, adjust the density to what you like, keep it high density, busy street, busy intersection, um, let's just assume people are in the city and they're in a rush, we'll keep it a bit fast, Keep some pacey running, yeah, just a bit. People that are running late, male, female, keep that in the middle. Portal 2, no need. And yeah, another way to adjust um, the paths is using in the modifier list the flow points and segments. So with the points, you can adjust them. Um, According, I believe, so click on it and you can lift it up if you like, you can bring it down. You can move them, adjust the thing. Just make sure not to have them, sorry, make sure not to have them too sharp 
at the corners or else people will not simulate there that's how this um, thing works really got to be wary of that and if we wanted to um, add ramps simply so like you know paths on an incline in our case click on floor flow segments and um, select a segment and click here where it says create a ramp so we create a ramp as you can see it's selected and we move that up it's just ex excluding that bit that's in the air we create a ramp like this not to make sure to have the ramp not too high you know wheelchair accessible make it easy for him um, and yeah for the sake of the simulation to have it properly inclined and aligned and yep now let's give it a shot let's simulate as you can see it's creating all of them quite a bit of people just taking a bit of time almost there or not ok sweet see he's running let's play and see how it goes Oh, he's in a rush he's in a rush he's power walking yeah so this is how we do it guys we use the populate tool like this pretty cool great way to add some spice into your urban setting and rendering and everything else giving it scale so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it